for the initial setup of this lab, uh, first thing you're going to do is set your cart and your tracks on your table. Uh, the track, when you set it up, you want to make extra sure that things are level here. So to do that, you're going to put the, the cart on your track. If the cart stays still, then you know it's level. If it slides one way or the other, then it's not. The two collisions we're going to look at are elastic and inelastic. So elastic is where they're bouncing off of each other. But we don't want these things to actually make contact. So what we have is magnets in the bumpers of the carts. So it's very important that when you pick your carts, you look at the letters on the side of the cart. For example, I have B and B. So you want a set with the same letters. On those carts, there's magnetic bumpers on one end. And that's what you're going to be using for your elastic collision. So that way, they don't actually hit, and we don't lose any energy that way, ideally. So you're going to set one cart in the middle, one cart at the end. Uh, you're going to set up video, video physics. Uh, I would actually suggest you use your camera first. Take the video with your camera and then import it into video physics. It'll be a lot easier for this lab. So you're going to take this cart, push it. It's going to collide with that cart. That cart's going to move, and then you can analyze the data for how fast they're moving before and after. For your inelastic collision where they're sticking, if you flip the carts around, there are Velcro bumpers on the other sides. And so that's going to be our inelastic where they're sticking together. So again, you start with one at rest, push this one, and then stick together, and you can analyze before and after, which we'll go over here in just a minute.